For this project, I had to design a bridge using nothing but round toothpicks and white school glue that would hold up to 8,000 grams. For my design, I chose to use a Warren Truss bridge design, which uses the shapes of interconnecting triangles to help support the load on the bridge at mid-span where it is the weakest. The first step is to prepare. I counted out 400 toothpicks to make sure I did not exceed the maximum allowed and to plot the minimum and maximum span and lengths on paper to ensure the bridge was in the correct range. In constructing the bridge, I had to measure out the toothpicks and cut them to size. Then I began fitting and gluing them to start forming the leg supports of the bridge. Next, I began constructing the deck by first constructing the deck frame itself. Next, I added the actual deck members, which formed the surface or roadway of the deck. This portion of the bridge took over 100 toothpicks to construct. The next step in constructing the bridge was to work on making the truss. First, I began to make the triangular truss components, which comprise equilateral triangles with the center stiffening member. There will be 10 of these, 5 on each side. Next, I glued supports for the triangular truss sections to the underside of the deck. These will be used to connect the truss to the deck. Finally, I connected the actual triangular sections to the deck. There was a long process because model supporting clips had to hold the sections in place until the glue dried. Once a triangular section was assembled on each side of the deck, I added two cross members to connect them. After all the triangular sections were assembled, I added the lengthwise supporters to the truss structure. In the final step, I added diagonal members to complete the triangular configuration for the top of the truss. The final step in the bridge assembly was to connect the deck to the legs. Before gluing these pieces into place, I had to ensure that I stayed within the minimum and maximum span values for the project. Now that the bridge has been completed, it will be tested to see if it can withstand 8,000 grams of weight. At the conclusion of the project, the bridge had the following parameters to stay within the project guidelines. 305 toothpicks were used in total. The span of the deck from leg to leg was 23.7 centimeters. The ground clearance of the deck at its lowest point was 4.5 centimeters. The total width of the deck was 5.6 centimeters at its widest point, with an opening for a car to pass through on the deck of 4.7 centimeters, and the total length of the bridge at the longest point was 29 centimeters.